welcome back to another episode of the podcast series. So today we have another guest who is also willing to share his secret of success on 3rd April 2024. I'm Dinushi and with me we have Mr. Dinuka Pereira, Chief Financial Officer, Millennium IT. Hi Dinuka, how are you? Hi Dinushi. So I'm going to ask you some questions. So I'm, I think that you are ready to answer. Uh. So the first one would be, what's the common myth about your job? Okay, so uh, in my uh, two roles uh, as the CFO at Millennium IT and as the chairman uh, at uh, Mercantile Investments, I wear two hats. Usually, I mean, if I'm talking about the uh, CFO role, usually any finance person, uh, the people have a myth that uh, they are the number crunchers in a dark room uh, kind of a situation where uh, all of them, all of the people are thinking that uh, the accountants are looking at the bottom line, cutting down the costs. Uh, but I would say, uh, even though that is a myth, it is the CFOs who have to sit between the strategy and real numbers. Uh, of course, numbers are important, but we as the uh, finance people who are driving the organization needs to be the right storytellers uh, who gets the company into a brighter future, having to uh, run for a brighter future, we have to be uh, the storytellers, right financial storytellers. And those financial stories has to be backed by the numbers. So uh, people will have more trust, more reliability, uh, and that will create a high level of transparency to the organization, which is very important for the organization's success. Yes, true that, true that. So the next question would be, at what time of the day do you get your best work done? Is there any specific time or? Yeah, so uh, that depends on the task that is uh, to be done. So usually uh, I, I stay a little late and try to finish work because uh, when I'm waking up in the morning, it's a fresh day uh, so that uh, I can start uh, with the new tasks. So as much as possible, try to complete the tasks in the night and uh, sleep so I will have a good sleep. And uh, especially when waking up, not a loads of amount of pending work. Uh, so uh, because of that, I would I would categorize myself as a night person. Okay, so it means that you will definitely tick off your to-do list. That's every... right. Yes. Okay, nice. So uh, what is your favorite way to relax after a long day? Okay, uh, so usually uh, my uh, uh, end of the day is spending uh, time with the family. Uh, especially my two daughters keep me busy. Uh, so, uh, I mean, with the two daughters, of course, uh, we watch TV, but I have to always uh, be kind of an audience for the kids' movies, kids' dramas, and them. Uh, I don't ever get the choice of selecting my own thing. But of course, I, I, I think I like that because uh, if we watch news or even documentary and them, that would, uh, I would think, that would add to the stress for the whole day, right? Uh, so uh, I always go by my uh, daughter's choices, which is always relaxing and uh, spending time with them, uh, uh, sharing the stories that they have uh, gone through the day and then. So how old are they? Uh, my elder one is uh, 10 and the younger one is 6. Okay, so a okay. uh, lot of stories uh, because the uh, younger one started the school uh, last year. So uh, she's in grade 2. A uh, lot of stories from her about, <laughs> the, about various things, about the friends. So and, that. yeah. That's cute. Mm, I'm going to ask the next question. Do you have a nickname and what's the story behind it? 
Okay, I mean, uh, the nickname is mainly with the uh, size of me. Yeah. <laughs> uh, on the school days, uh, uh, I, I used to, uh, the people used to tell me as uh, Tadia. Uh, so, with the size, of course. That is body shape. <laughs> <laughs> That's a body shape, yeah. Uh, and uh, uh, recently, uh, amongst the sales colleagues in uh, my organization, they used to uh, tell me as the big bear uh, because, uh, uh, again, uh, kind of chasing the numbers since, uh, I mean, they, they always tell my financial controller uh, and myself as a big bear and small bear <laughs> so that both of us are kind of chasing the numbers with them. So uh, those kind of all, uh, all uh, uh, there's a funny side of the things those are happening in the organizations so that uh, we always take out any, uh, any barriers between the functions so that uh, everyone uh, take the uh, usual tasks that we do as a, as a positive way, in, in a positive way, in a funny way. <laughs> Um, what's the funniest thing that a family member or a friend has ever said to you? Okay, it's, I mean, a lot of funny stories. I was actually asking you uh, uh, whether it is okay to share a long story. Uh, I mean, uh, recently, it's, it was, I, I was also listening to uh, one of the uh, uh, speakers uh, in one of the seminars. I, I think that is good uh, for the audience also that I would like to share. Uh, one day uh, Albert Einstein has traveled to uh, Japan. Uh, he has uh, been uh, traveling in a train and uh, when uh, there is uh, ticket officers uh, who has come to the train at that time, when Albert Einstein time, um, when the ticketing officers have come uh, they have asked uh, uh, tickets and Albert Einstein was trying to search for the ticket everywhere and they have come to the uh, seat and they have told, uh, look, sir, we know who you are. Uh, we don't want to see your uh, ticket. So it was kind of a, a gesture that uh, ticketing officers have told. And Albert Einstein uh, has kept watching for his uh, ticket. Uh, and when the ticketing officers was going out of the cabin also, they have seen Albert Einstein is still searching for his ticket. So they have come to uh, him and was telling, Sir, we definitely know who you are. And we know that you have taken a ticket uh, being a uh, kind of a very well-known person uh, to the entire world. We know that you would have taken the ticket, so we don't have a problem. And Albert Einstein in return has told, look, uh, I also know who am I, but I don't know where to go. Uh, so basically he doesn't know the destination. He wants a ticket to find out what is the destination that he wants to travel. So uh, from that, the lesson is uh, always we need to know where are we going? So uh, we, know, we need to know, every one of us need to know what is our destination, uh, what is our final destination, uh, where do you want, I mean basically everyone has to have their own vision uh, and it can be a long-term vision, it can be a kind of a five-year, ten-year vision, uh, but everyone needs to know where they are going. Uh, so that is the message that I wanted to pass uh, from the story that I've heard. Okay, uh, so the next one is, uh, do you believe in true love? Definitely, yes. I mean, when it comes to true love, uh, the, the love from the family, uh, I mean, of course, I, uh, uh, at home, uh, the love that we get from the kids, uh, not only that, uh, the love we get from the office colleagues, uh, I mean, always takes out the burden or the stress that you have to go through uh, 
uh, when you have uh, when you have right colleagues working with you. So uh, definitely, uh, so love is not limited to your spouse or your uh, fiance. Um, it has to be uh, extended to uh, definitely your other family members, your parents, uh, your uh, kids as well as uh, as much as possible even the colleagues are you happy with the way you spend your time okay uh, whether i am happy yes uh, i'm definitely happy on the way that i'm spending uh, so that is the reason why uh, uh, i'm spending time like that but if you ask from my wife uh, i mean she <laughs> would definitely tell uh, she doesn't like the way that uh, i spend my time so, uh, okay, uh, telling about that. Um, so, when it comes to spending time uh, as a person who is doing kind of multiple, uh, wearing multiple hats, it's very important that I prioritize uh, certain tasks. So, uh, this prioritizing is something that I always do uh, and see the most important critical tasks and uh, give high priority to that and uh, in doing that I have to make sure that the things that I can do delegate so I delegate to my colleagues so that they also have that autonomy and uh, they also improve themselves getting a higher exposure so it's very important that uh, prioritizing and delegating our tasks in managing our time. Uh, so that what uh, I might not be doing so well is this balancing the time with the, uh, with the family, uh, where, I mean, uh, to go for a movie out or suddenly go for a kid's birthday party, uh, whether I can excuse all other work and go for that, might not be able to do. So that is what I was telling. Uh, I can always do improve. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so you have some plans to do. For sure. <laughs> okay, so this is going to be the last question actually. What is the best compliment that you have ever received? Okay, so the best compliment uh, that I have received is from my kind of lecturing career. Uh, one day I can still remember uh, into one of the universities I was asked to come uh, as a guest lecturer, guest speaker and uh, I didn't have any idea uh, to what to talk uh, so uh, I was trying to relate uh, because it was a, again a, a CFO forum uh, so uh, what I did was I shared one of my ideas uh, I mean the things that I have gone through uh, and the way that I have come to these positions. Uh, so I was telling my life story and uh, there was a one colleague in that uh, whole forum. Uh, uh, he was kind of always looking at me and soon after the meeting he came to me and told, uh, Sir, I was really struggling on uh, my exams. I, I flunked my exams. Uh, today, when I heard your story, I really uh, got the courage of not to give up. Uh, so, for me, it was a life changing. Uh, so, I thought at least I was able to uh, change one's uh, destiny. So, uh, yeah, so in lecturing career, I have come across a lot of uh, situations like that where uh, sometimes the students, sometimes I would say the uh, colleagues who are uh, in the learning community uh, comes and tell that uh, some thought that I have shared has changed their, uh, the way that they have thought about the life, the, the way that they have thought about the career uh, sometimes the way that they have thought about a subject, at least, I mean, to the minimum. Uh, 
that kind of a thing always gives me a huge pleasure and uh, I think uh, that we can do something to our profession, something to the community uh, that gives me that pleasure. So thank you, Dinanka, for your thoughts, ideas, and sharing your secrets, experience, and all that. So we will see you on third. Thank you very much, Dinanka, for your time. Hope that was an interesting session. So there will be other sessions in the future as well with other CA experts. So stay tuned.